Hello, it's me, James Lodge Jr. This is 50 Plus, my show about things that will be over 50. I'm recovering from going to a concert on Saturday night with my daughter, um, realizing being over 50, I'm tired. Well, it takes longer to recover from going to things like that. It was fun. The Hollywood Bowl is a great place. I uh, saw Jane's Addiction, Poppy, and um, and Smashing Pumpkins. It was good. Boy, are my parts of my body tired. Um, but it was a good time had by all with my daughter, and it was a lot of fun. I also want to bring something up that I didn't like, actually. Um, I, uh, I, I'm not really on Twitter, as you guys know. I have a Twitter account. I post from it. I may do the occasional, very occasional um, scroll. A lot of it has been just retweeting. I had this whole Sprina thing happen last week, so it was a big deal. So I was retweeting and answering people back, getting on new followers, uh, saying hi to them. But I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not looking at really anything unless something newsworthy happens. I may go check to see if it's true or not because I always get my news from Twitter. Whether that's good, or, whether that's good or bad, that doesn't, you know, whatever. I just, I do. So I saw, I, I saw, I saw some my DMs, and they were like from, from fans, some couple of fans. And it was luckily it was, and I want to make this clear. It was only like two or three. It was like three or four. Um, so it wasn't a lot. It was like so overpouring. But they were like, "I see you're following Trump," or "I know you're a Trump supporter." At first, I don't know what they're talking about. I was just like, "What they're talking about?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I had a good week last week. Here we go again. Something bad." Um, and then I see on Twitter that um. That the former president Donald J. Trump was reinstated on Twitter. I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. A bunch of things happened this weekend. I was busy with my daughter all weekend. I wasn't online, which was like was refreshing actually to spend time with her and see her in a year in person. I was like, same time with her. My family wasn't online. Even all even all the stuff that I, I took all this video footage and I just started posting it today after she left. So I didn't know. I didn't know he was in the stadium. So, and yes, I had been following him. Now, I was following him during his presidency um, to keep an eye on him and see what he was saying, which there are key people that I was following on the other side. I, I am a registered Democrat, if you guys want to know, but I'm not really, I don't, I'm not a far left person. I'm somewhere in the middle, um, more independent than anything else. Um, but for voting purposes, that's what I do. And I don't, I don't, you know, I me, mean, I don't talk politics or anything on here like that at all. I do race stuff, sexuality, so I, but politics I don't talk about because it's just too crazy. Right now, politics, there's no, there's no debates. Literally, like, let's be real. There's no debates. And everybody just screaming at each other. Try to get their side together. So I stay out of it. And that also means I stay out of other people's business. I stay, once in a while, I'll post something I feel is very important. It might be politically inclined. Every once in a while, and I'll do that. But I didn't want to make a point, and that's it. Um, but I didn't like that people were coming into my DMs and just started screaming at me. One reason why I'm not on Twitter. Um, telling me, one was like, well, you just stop following him. Uh, first of all, I can follow where the fuck I want to. It's my life, whatever I want. Just like you have the right to follow whoever you want to for whatever reason you want to. Now, if you wanted, wanted to have a debate or a talk or discussion about why, James, why were you following Trump, that would be a different story. And I can go, okay, because I was, I think I'm using it for comedy, fodder, or I want to keep an eye. Like, there's a million reasons why I, I could have been following him. Not necessarily that I'm a, that I love him and when I'm a MAGA person, not at all. But it goes to the whole thing of, I don't tell anybody else in my timeline who to follow. I just don't. Um, I just, I just, I never, I don't, I know some people follow people that I don't follow. I don't really, I don't go after them. I don't go after them. I don't DM them. I don't say, if you do this or where our friendship's over, I just don't do that. That's not where I'm at as a person. I'm much more inclusive. Until you, until you do something to me personally or something to me online personally, I leave it alone. Whatever, whoever you follow, whatever you do, that's your business. I just don't, I, I'm not just, it's just not something for me at all. Now, if I find out something about you that's, to me, reprehensible and horrific, obviously, um, we're going to stop following each other. 
And I know for in many ways people feel Trump is that way, of course. I'm not defending him at all, at all. But I didn't like the fact that people were coming into my DMs telling me what to do uh, or just accusing me of stuff without even, even getting any facts going. And that's the reason why I don't talk politics. And that's the reason why I'm not really in stuff like that. And the reason why I'm not on Twitter very often. But I want to address it um, because of that's what I do. Uh, but I'm no longer, I'm not following. I stopped, I, I didn't realize I was still following because he was, remember, he was taken off of Twitter. So I'm assuming that when he was reinstated, all those followers stayed with him. So I have now, since I have unfollowed him because now he's not our president and I don't want him to be our president and I want him to go away. And I keep wishing if we all didn't give Trump any attention, he would go, I keep hoping he would just go away. Um, so I'm not, I'm not following him anymore because of my, oh, not because of these people. They alerted me in a way, let me know. It's like my phone is going off, of course. Uh, they alerted me in a way to let me know that basically he's back on Twitter. So Elon Musk has done that. Um, but I'm not I'm not leaving Twitter completely. I said I'm still on there. I'm doing my thing. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go through my whole friends list or whole following list to see who's acceptable to people or not. I'm not going to do that either. And I wouldn't ask you to do the same thing. Um, but... Again, I just, I, it just goes to show, again, I'm not even trying to, I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not even bothering yeah. nobody. And it's everyone's policing everybody else. And that part I don't like at all. So I might get in trouble for this video. Who knows? I don't care at this point. It's just, it's just, it's just, this is ridiculous. I'm just trying to live my life, be very honest, transparent, bring community together, have fun, go on real issues that are really important for all of us. That's what I'm trying to do. Really, that's all I'm trying to do. Bring some entertainment. That's all, that's all I'm trying to do out there. But um, anyway, that's my thoughts for that. I'm going to get that out to everybody. I will see you guys next time on the edition of 50 Plus. I'm James Lodge Jr. Everywhere.